Hello and welcome to part 7 of the Soul Silver walkthrough. Last time I was attempting to catch a Marie. This however has not been going very well. As I have not as I have yet to find a Marie. Oh wait a minute. Do I have Pokeballs? Because if I don't, then this is useless. Okay, I have six. That works. There's no more start menu, it's... The menu's on the bottom screen. Maybe it's not even here. Oh, wait a moment. Wait a moment. I'm gonna check to see where Murray is online. This will take at least a minute, and I still have no idea how to cut. I'm, I'm again new at this, so give me a minute. I'll bring the camera down with me so you can all hear what I have to say. So anyway, those are some pretty nice potted plants, aren't they? So, let's keep staring at the potted plants. I still have nine minutes to waste of my life. I'll probably make another six parts today. My goal is to at least beat Violet City, or beat Faulkner, and get the Zephyr badge. But now that Mudslap is no longer a TM, which is what? Falkmere gave out in Gold, Silver, Crystal. I'm curious as to what he'll give in this game. I want to know. I want to say it's Roost. I want to say he gives the TM60 for Roost. But I don't know. So let's look. I'm using the best Pokemon website ever. Cerebi.net Cerebi means Selby in Japanese. So I'm looking for a Marie right now to see if it's even available to me at this moment. Yeah, it is available. It's uncommon, but it works. It's here. So I just have to keep looking. How's that? Sorry to waste your time there, I was just checking the computer. Computer that's right there. So I only have a 10% chance of finding it at night. So the odds of finding it are not in my favor. Holy crap. Ah, okay. Where are the healing items? There we go. 
I use the Pokemon Center Quill. I'd go to the Pokemon Center, but I don't want to waste time. I will find a damn Marie by the end of this part. Another battle will get me a Quilava, but still, that's not a friggin' Marie. Just give me a damn Marie. You know what? I said I would try to catch it, but... No, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep trying. But anyway, here's Quilava, so at least something significant happens this part. Now, if you want to stop an evolution, just press the B button. If not, watch what Christians call fiction. FYI, I'm a Christian, and I believe in evolution. Anyway. Most Christians, anyway. So that's Quilala. Let's take a moment to look at it. Human nature. So it has pretty good stats. Unfortunately, no types explosion until level 36. It's getting annoying. Can't believe I've spent an entire part trying to catch one friggin' Marie. No, like, this is good training, so that's why I'm continuing to fight. I'm on Route 32, right? Yeah. So it should be here. But alas, no. However, it appears more frequently in the daytime. So it's probably what I'm gonna do. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do now. Okay. I'm going to capture now a bell sprout. I said a bell sprout. And weaken it from there. I will then proceed to train this Marie off screen. Because even though I got Quilava, I'm not spending another part trying to find a Marie. Damn it, now I want one of the more common Pokemon. Just, just give me. That's ridiculous. Actually, no. No, wait. I'll, I'll give it one more try. To catch either a Marie or... Uh... Oh, yes! <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to start this off next part, because... 
six hit points facing that, that could actually be lethal and that could actually backfire and I might lose. So what will happen next time? Find out in part eight. Have a nice night. Because it's nighttime. Yeah.